Hi everyone, so today is the first day of our Cricut Christmas Crafting Challenge which is running between the 3rd of October and the 11th of November 2022 and we will be posting a brand new craft every single day Monday to Friday between these dates and if you want to be eligible for the draw of the Cricut Joy crafting machine be sure to have a look at the details in our description below and also go and subscribe in order not to miss any of it. For the first day of our challenge, we'll, we'll start with making these beautiful Christmas gift tags from scratch, just using images and text from Design Space and other free sources. For today's craft, we're gonna use our Cricut cutting machine. I'm using the Maker 3, a standard grip cutting mat, some 65 pound cardstock. I'm just using solid core and then some twine and a pair of scissors. So when we open Cricut Design Space, you're gonna to go to click on new project on the side here. And then during the course of this challenge, we're going to mainly use free fonts and images where possible. So in order for us to make these Christmas gift tags, we're going to use the shapes button on the side. Um, for the purpose of this exercise, I'm going to use the circle, but you can use the star, rectangle, whatever you would prefer. So I'm going to click on my circle and then you'll see the lock is locked on the, at the top here. So I'm just going to make the size of mine 3.2 and because it's locked, it's going to change the height at the same time. So there we go. I prefer to change the color of my canvas. So click on the blank canvas at the bottom and then the color square at the top I like to make mine green. Then I'm going to click on my circle and change that color to white. So the next thing I want to do is just add a little hole at the top of my gift tag in order for us to put a, a little string through it. So I'm going to click on the shapes again, click on circle and just drag it to the size and change the size to about 0 0.15 and then I'm going to just put it somewhere around the middle of that. So the next thing I want to do is just center it on top of our circle. So I'm going to click on it on the side, click and hold down control and click the circle. And then if you go to the line button at the top and you say center horizontally, it will move it to the middle of your actual circle. So the next thing I want to do is while this is highlighted, I'm going to just click on the slice button at the bottom. And basically what that's going to do is it's just going to cut out that little circle for us. So if you click and hold down the circle and you drag it to the side, you'll see that now there's a little cut out and then you can just click on these two and just delete it. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and add the text. So if you click on the text box and you go to font at the top and on the down arrow. So I prefer to use stencil fonts um, because in that way, the middle of your letters like the A's and the O's, it doesn't get cut out and go missing. So if you type in stencil and click enter, it will bring up the stencil fonts available to you. If you want a free one, you can go to the side here, click on filters and tick free. And there's a Signar stencil that you can use on this side. The font that I'm using today is actually one that I downloaded from the fonts um, and it's a free font. So I'll just put the link in the description below. Um, but so if I go into my systems tab, that's where all your downloaded fonts um, would be. So the one that I'm using is Bramble stencil. So you're just going to click on that. So you can now double click on your text box and type in the name. There we go. You can resize this to fit into your, into your tag. And then what you want to do is you want to highlight both the name as well as the, the circle or the stencil at the back and, and go align center vertically. There we go. 
So you can either cut this design as is, or what you can do is you can add a, a second layer to the back of it. In that case, what will happen is that the name will be cut out and your disc at the back would be a different color. So the name would show through as a different color. If you want to do that, just right click on the circle at the back and say duplicate. And in that way, you'll have two circles. The front one will have the name cut out and the second one will be solid. So you can now go ahead and just highlight all the components and say attach. If you chose to not have the circle, the second circle, just delete that one before highlighting these two and saying attach. We can now go and click on the make it button at the top. So I'm going to use my mat I'm using a 12 by 12 inch mat. I can say confirm. So when I add my cardstock to my mat, I'm going to use two different colors. So you can do it differently in terms of cutting these on different mats, the different colors, but I'm going to just add my different um, colors of cardstock to one mat. So for the first disc, I'm going to use red and the one at the back, the solid one, I'm going to use white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a piece about three and a half by three and a half inches um, of each. And I'm going to just make sure that it fits the dimensions of these cuts on my mat. I'll show you in a second what I mean. Then I like to just double check all my settings on the left hand side. So it's just a basic cut on mat 12 by 12 and it's not mirrored. Click on continue. For 65 pound cardstock, I like to use the cardstock for intricate cut setting. So if you don't have it highlighted or saved as a favorite, just click on browse all materials. In all categories, you'll go to cardstock and then you'll choose cardstock for intricate cuts. Click on done. And then I usually just change my pressure to less because I find that my fine point blade cuts a little bit too deeply into my mat when I'm using 65 pound cardstock. So I just change that. And then it tells me that I'm using a fine point blade and it's all ready for me to add my, my cardstock to my mat and load my mat into my machine. So I've cut two squares over here, different colors, three and a half by three and a half inches. So the red one I'm going to put in the corner and the white one next to it. So the white one is going to be my, my solid color at the back with the red one being the front where the name is cut out. We can now go ahead and load our mat into our machine. Once your mat's been measured, you can go ahead and start your cut. Now that we have our cut designs, you can actually, like I said earlier, you can either leave it like this, or you can add the second color as a background. In this case, it's white, so you can't really see the difference against the, the table. But if you had it a different color, it might make it a bigger difference. So what we're going to do is we're going to just add some string and then wrap it so i'm just going to fold that push it through and there we go so we can now go ahead and add this to our gift 